hello everyone hope you're all right in today's video i'm going to show you the eight varieties of tomato plants i grew from seeds and step-by-step -step progress of these tomato plants and my thoughts about different varieties of plants which one i liked most which one were easy to grow or which one has troubles or didn't taste much better so keep watching till end and for salads so i'm going to start my tomato seeds and here i have got a 24 cell seed tray and i have filled it with multi-purpose compost which is nice and loose and i have put all my labels in so i can identify which variety is where when you are growing more than one varieties of same plant it's good idea to label them properly so you know the difference and basically i have divided the tray in eight parts like three cells for each variety and i'm going to sow two seeds per cell to make sure i get something in every cell so if i get more plants i can transplant them later on separately so first i'm going to sow roma italian tomato seeds here i have got like 30 40 tomato seeds in this packet and i'm going to sow two seeds per cell and i will lightly cover them with the compost uh, seeds are small so you don't want to bury them too deep in the compost just lightly cover them with more compost and then water them from bottom so i have got a tray under my seed starting tray where i can put some water so the soil can soak up the water and then i can discard the rest of the water next i am going to sow sun gold f1 seeds they are only 10 15 seeds in this sachet so i'm carefully going to sow two seeds per cell and if some seeds do not germinate then i may have to sow another set of seeds later next i'm going to sow yellow pear tomato seeds same two seeds per cell just cover lightly with the compost there are few seeds in the sachet too so some of these tomato seeds are expensive so i bought these sachets online and like some of them have only like 15 20 seeds per sachet and and these cost like two to three pounds so i need to be really careful with handling these seeds and hopefully i get good germination next i am going to sow money maker tomato seeds which is the sachet from last year and there are plenty of seeds in it so i'm not really worried about this variety and i had really good results last year with these tomato seeds so i can sow these more later on and i also did a video where i rooted some suckers from this tomato variety so if you are interested i will include the link in the description box where i show how can you root the tomato suckers to get more tomato plants later on in the season next i'm going to sow super marmaint tomato seeds and this is beef steak tomato variety so i'm really looking forward to grow these tomatoes next i'm going to sow tomato tumbler seeds which is a dwarf bush variety so you can grow these in small pots hanging baskets window boxes and they produce lots of cherry tomatoes next i'm going to sow gardener's delight tomato seeds really sweet and juicy this is indeterminate variety and you can also multiply the plants by rooting tomato suckers last but not least i'm going to sow tiny tim tomato seeds which is like uh, tomato tumbler so small bush variety but it produces abundance of sweet juicy cherry tomatoes so i'm really looking forward to grow all these varieties and hopefully i get good germination here and i will keep you updated about the progress of all these plants here i'm done sowing all my tomato seeds and now I'm making sure they are nice and snug in their place so i'm pressing the soil and basically covering them lightly with the soil and that's all basically you can do i will be growing these inside my house in a sunny windowsill where they get lots of sun and the temperature stays nice and warm between 80 to 20 degrees centigrade and that's the ideal temperature for these seeds to germinate so after sowing my seeds i'm going to water them uh, with a gentle spray from the top and later on i'll be watering them from the bottom so put the water in the tray and the soil will soak it up so i'm back after a few weeks and this is the beginning of april so here you can see all these tomato seedlings are doing really well i have got eight varieties here and there is really good germination so i sow like two seeds per cell and almost all of them have germinated 
and some of these are determinate bush varieties and some of these are indeterminate tomatoes and i'm really happy with how these seedlings are doing i have kept them under my grow light for like eight to nine hours per day and i have fed them twice with half strength fertilizer since they have germinated so they are ready to be potted on now here i have got this recycled yogurt pot which i have washed and poked holes in the bottom i have labeled it with the name of the variety and now i'm going to fill it with a little bit of compost here is my gardener's delight tomato seedling you can see it has got very nice root system i'm going to place it in the middle of the pot and i'm going to remove the lower leaves and i'm going to bury it deep in the pot so with tomato seedlings you can plant them really deep because they can grow roots along the stem it helps the plant to have a strong root system which obviously helps with the overall strength and health of the plant which result in high yield so that's why i'm using this recycled yogurt pot because it's really nice and deep so i'm back after eight weeks and this is the beginning of june you can see the progress of my tomato plants so here i have got eight varieties of tomatoes which i started from seed some of these are indeterminate and some are determinate and one variety is semi-determinate which is super marmain super marmain is like beef steak tomatoes which are semi-determinate which means they are somewhere in between determinate and indeterminate they are bushier like determinate tomatoes but they do not grow as tall as indeterminate tomatoes here i have got tiny tim tomatoes which are bush type determinate tomatoes so they only grow about a foot tall and they produce a vigorous crop of small cherry tomatoes so they are ideal for growing in small pots hanging baskets or window boxes so i'm going to put these in these small pots I have also got tomato tumbler which is also another germinate tomato variety it grows like one foot tall and it produces a large crop of small cherry tomatoes so i'm going to grow these in the pots as well so here i have prepared my raised bed and i'm going to plant the rest of five varieties in this raised bed which are all indeterminate tomatoes so basically they keep growing throughout the season and they can grow like seven eight feet tall and you need to stake them and you want to remove the suckers on these tomato varieties because you don't want them to grow like crazy so here i'm going to plant my indeterminate tomato varieties in this raised bed this is eight feet long two feet wide and i have amended it with a bag of fresh compost and a good amount of fertilizer which i will be putting in each planting hole so it will help the plants to establish in their new home and then i will start feeding my tomato plants once a week with a tomato fertilizer so here i have dug a big hole so i want to bury my tomato plant as deep as possible so i have dug a big hole and i have put a handful of fertilizer in the hole which is balanced fertilizer equal ratio of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and now i'm going to put my plant deep inside the hole so i want to remove the lower three to four leaves and suckers and then i want to put my tomato plant all the way in the hole and fill it back gently and tap around the soil so it's nice and snug in its place and there are no air pockets so i'm going to plant five varieties of tomatoes like i have got four to five plants of each variety and i think i can fit all of them in this raised bed so i'm going to plant them like um, eight to ten inches apart from each other so let's see how it goes so i started these tomato plants inside my house under the grow lights towards the middle of march and then i transplanted them outside in separate pots towards the middle of april and they have been sitting in my greenhouse since then the weather has been really cold this year so we had really cold and wet spring and now this week the weather has changed it has started to warm up so it's the best time to plant tomatoes outside when all the danger of frost has passed and the nights are warm like above 10 degrees centigrade so here i'm done planting all my five indeterminate tomato varieties in this raised bed so i have got gardener's delight 
and sun gold yellow f1 in the first row which are cherry tomatoes both of them are cherry tomatoes and the middle row is moneymaker tomatoes which are big salad tomatoes and the final row is yellow pear and roma italian which are both uh, plum tomatoes they are good for cooking and i have put eight feet tall bamboo stakes at the end of each row and i have staked the first row using florida weave which is basically i used a uh, jute twine to tie around my tomato plants there is a very nice and informative video about staking tomato plants on epic gardening youtube channel and it has discussed uh, different options about staking tomato plants and they have explained how to do florida weave as well so i will put the link in the description box in case you want to check it out and i have also managed to plant seven corn plants at the end of the raised bed which are sweet corn incredible f1 so this raised bed is nice and done now so i need to mulch it and water it so now i'm going to bottom my tiny tim and tomato tumbler tomato plants in big five liter pots so here is tiny tim tomato plant and you can see it has got nice bushy habit and it has got some suckers it's not going to go very tall so i don't want to remove the suckers on these tomato plants i don't want to leave the suckers because they will produce fruit as well if you remove the suckers on these plants your crop will reduce drastically so here is my five liter um, nursery pot and i'm going to fill it with multi-purpose compost it has nice big holes at the bottom so i put a uh, paper at the bottom so the compost doesn't fall out and it still has got nice drainage so i'm going to fill it with compost halfway and then i'm going to plant my tomato plant deep in this pot but as i said i don't want to remove the suckers i just want to remove two or three lower leaves which are not looking really good and basically i don't want them to touch the soil and get infections so i just want to remove the lower leaves so there is good airflow at the bottom of the plant and that's all basically so it's really nice and easy you can grow them in hanging baskets small pots window boxes and basically you can put them anywhere in your garden so if you are short on space and you want to grow your own tomato plants these tomato varieties are really good options they give you a nice good crop of cherry tomato which you can snack on and use in your salads or even if you have a short growing season then you can also grow these tomato plants because they get you a tomato crop really early in the season in fact you can grow multiple crops of these plants so you can start uh, them in succession you can start a crop every month and hopefully you will be able to grow these tomato plants towards the end of september october when all the other tomato plants have the risk of blight so i'm going to pot these tomato plants and i'm going to place them in my greenhouse same way i'm going to pot on my tomato tumbler tomato plants these are bigger than tiny teams but these are still bushy plants and i don't want to remove the suckers on these i think they have grown a bit laggy due to the lack of sunshine last month and hopefully they will manage to grow nice and thick now when the sun is out and the weather is warm so the same way i'm going to put a paper at the bottom of the pot and fill it with multi-purpose compost bury my tomato plant a little deep uh, removing the lower leaves but not the suckers and basically at the end i will water them i'm using a nice fresh compost and a handful of fertilizer in each pot So here I have planted all my tiny thyms and tomato tumblers in these pots and I have placed them in my greenhouse. I have watered them so I don't need to stake them. Uh, tiny thyms are nice and bushy but the tomato tumblers were looking a bit laggy so I just stake them in case they fall over. So I hope they will grow nice and thick now and will start producing soon for me. I can see flower birds on them. 
and I'm hopeful to be harvesting a good crop of tomatoes soon. And here in the other east bed, I have planted my super mermaid tomato plants in the middle. So I have got pea plants on both sides and I have a row of garlic on one side and row of strawberry plants on the other side. So garlic will be harvested soon in the beginning of July. So here you can see these plants have got nice flower buds on them and these are semi-determinate tomato plants so i didn't remove the suckers on these tomato plants either and i have straked them the same way so they will grow nice and bushy but not very tall but i still have straked them just in case and i have got my strawberry plants which are ever bearing on one side and i will be harvesting my garlic and pea plants will be ready towards the end of july i think so then they will have more room to grow here so this is the beginning of july and you can see the progress of my tomato plants which i planted in my raised bed here in this raised bed i have got five varieties of indeterminate tomato plants and they are growing really nice and big i have been trying to stake them using florida weave method and they have been standing up nice and tall until now and i have been trying to remove as many suckers as possible so I'm back after a couple of weeks and you can see my tomato plants are already growing nice and huge. In this raised bed I have got super marmaid tomato plants, 5 or 6 plants which I have been trying to stake really hard. They have been bending over due to the weight of tomatoes because this variety grows big beef stick tomatoes and almost all of the plants have loads of flower stalks. So I'm really hopeful that I will get to harvest some really nice and big beef stick tomatoes. So I'm back at the end of August and I have already been harvesting loads of tomatoes of my tomato plants and today I'm going to do a big harvest because loads of tomatoes are ripe. So I'm going to give you a comparison of different varieties I've got here. So here I'm harvesting sun gold yellow cherry tomatoes and they are really nice and juicy but not really sweet. However, they were first to ripe in my garden at the end of july and i have harvested loads and loads of them of four or five tomato plants which i have got here they are indeterminate tomato plants so they grow really nice and huge and i have been removing the suckers as many as possible but you can see they are loaded so still loaded at the end of august and i have already harvested loads and loads of them they don't taste very sweet but they are all right on their own and they look good because of their yellow golden color and they produce a lot of tomatoes so if you are after a tomato variety which grows fast and produce a lot and look good i will recommend this variety as per taste i will give it 8 out of 10. Now I am harvesting yellow pear tomatoes and I'm really happy with these tomatoes. I will definitely grow it next year. This is small plum type tomato and it looks really beautiful due to its yellow color and pear shape and it has lots of meat in it. So even it is small and cherry sized tomato still it has lots of flavor and lots of flesh. They were also fast to ripe in the beginning of august and since then i have been harvesting loads and loads of them they keep producing and these are also indeterminate tomato plants i have been removing suckers but still there are loads and loads of tomatoes on the plants and they ripe really fast so i will say these have been my most favorite cherry tomatoes in my garden this year and i will definitely grow next year they are easy to grow they are hybrid variety so i'm not really sure whether seed saving will be successful or not but i will definitely grow them next year here i'm harvesting tiny tim and tomato tumblers which i grew in five liter pots in my greenhouse they were also quick to ripe because they were in greenhouse anyway and they're small plants so they produce a big crop of tomatoes at one time and then they are done so i have been harvesting lots of them as well and they are really nice sweet and juicy small cherry sized tomatoes so i will definitely recommend them growing if you are short on space you can easily grow them in pots and they are really nice and sweet they kind of taste similar so i can't really tell the difference but uh, tomato tumblers were bigger plants than tiny teams Tiny teams can be easily grown in hanging baskets in small pots but for tomato tumblers I will recommend a bigger pot. Also you don't need to remove the suckers on these tomato plants because they are determinate so more suckers you have more 
tomatoes you will get to harvest and you can see they are loaded here so i have been harvesting since the beginning of july every week loads and loads of them and they are still loaded So here I'm harvesting moneymaker tomatoes. I had five or six plants and they are very late to ripe. They are big, nice, round tomatoes and they taste good. But due to blight, I didn't get to harvest a lot of them. Here I'm harvesting Gardener's Delight. They are cherry sized tomatoes, but you can see they are much bigger than a standard cherry tomato and they taste good. But they also took very long to ripe and due to blight i can't really harvest a lot of them because most of the plants are devastated due to blight so money makers and gardener's delight and plum tomatoes which is roma italian were hit hard by tomato blight at the end of august and i didn't get to harvest any of ripe roma italian so i harvested a few of them unripe and i got them ripened on my kitchen counter so i'm not really happy with them not being able to resist tomato blight and also they take forever to ripe and same is the story of beefsteak super marmon tomatoes i didn't get to harvest ripen tomatoes of the wine so i would recommend you can grow them if you live in a warm and dry climate like beefsteak tomatoes and roma italian plum tomatoes but the kind of weather we have here in UK, which is cold and mild and really wet. These varieties were first to show the signs of tomato blight and they also infected the rest of the tomato plants. So I may not grow them next year. But with regards to cherry tomatoes, they are easy to grow. They produce huge amount of tomatoes and they ripe quickly. And basically, they are worth the effort. And of the cherry tomatoes, yellow pear is my most favorite due to their sweet and juicy flesh. And second favorite is tiny tim. And then tomato tumbler and sun gold yellow is kind of similar. Gardener's delight were also hit hard by uh, blithe and so is the money maker. So I will recommend growing yellow pear and tiny tim if you want a huge crop of tomatoes and you are short on space, they are easy to grow. With regards to standard tomatoes, all of my varieties were hit hard by blight, and I didn't get to harvest a lot of them ripen off the vine. So I had to harvest them green and then ripen them indoors on my kitchen counter. Still, I got like one to two kg of them of each variety. So I would say you can give them a try if you have the space to grow them and the patience to bear some losses. And that's the spirit of gardening. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video of growing tomatoes from seed to harvest. And if you want to watch more gardening videos, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.